Welcome back guys, this is Henry15028 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with Codecademy's functions in JavaScript and the JavaScript track as you may have guessed. Um, and basically we are working with defining a function and how you define a function is very very easy. Most of this code is already set up for us, we just have to input a few things. So if you look up top here this is already set up for us it's squaring whatever number you input input for x and it's just going to run it twice that's how you square anything you run the same number twice um, for cubes it's a little bit different um, for cubes this is how you want to do it Num you do the same number three times and inside of the functions you want to put x as a parameter so it knows what we're working with and make sure to put the semi the semicolons 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 whatever you want to call them inside of out um after both of the curly braces and your code should look exactly like this we're going to run the code and we get the green check mark the answer is 343 three. so it's basically saying 7 times 7 times 7 equals 343. Um, we're basically done with that. We actually have to leave this to continue on with the with whatever we're working on right now. Um, it's pretty weird that I have to do this to keep working. I have to go to the next section. It's 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 somewhat of an inconvenience but anyway here we are in functions with two parameters and remember we've gone over something similar like this early on um what you basically want to do is what you want to do here i don't know why i added that um Put a comma and you we want to find out what the width length and height of the vol of this volume that we are working with so what you want to do down here is multiply width times length times height and make sure to put semicolons after each of the curly braces and it's already called up for us and all we have to do is press submit code and we get 24 because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4, 24. There we go. Moving along here, um, pretty much if you submit this code, it's going to work. Whether you make, whether you decide to edit it or not. I don't know why they would do that, but what you want to do is just put a semicolon right there and change the argument name from x to n x to n I don't know why they wanted us to do it but I, I don't know submit the code we get 125 because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 next lesson the next lesson that we are working with today is for argument type part one it's basically we want to check whether or not the value that we um that we're working with is a number or not so what we are going to get when we put a semicolon after this curly brace is N A N not a number. And what this basically I don't I don't really know what it is. Um I'll I'll get back with that with you guys. Like I really don't know what this really is. But I guess Code Academy felt compelled that we need to at least see it. Um, 
Next up, in the final piece, we're working with Argument Types Part 2. Now this one is pretty simple, you just have to add a semicolon and that's pretty much it. And what this is, is it's making sure that we get the value of what whatever we put in. And on the left side of the screen it says numeric value back in, let me just submit the code. It's null, tr oops, try again, false. Well, you guys are probably saying, why is it null? Why is it false? It's because I didn't get rid of this comment. Make sure you get rid of the comment on line two. We get zero. For this, we're basically checking if whatever we're going to get is a number. If it's not a number, then it's just going to return zero no matter what um in this case it did return zero when i pressed when i um when i still had the comments it returned something else but that's pretty much what it is add like subscribe comment below i sh i know i struggled through some of the terms in this one but i'll i'm still learning um Keep watching. I'm out.